Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Planet Base, which is now launching. Um, well, it's probably not going to be too long an episode tonight, because I'm pretty tired. But I do want to get to the base and do a few things in preparation for the six centuries. I want to take this base to 600, and I want to do it without people starving to death in the effing hallways all the time. Because previous times, long ago, I mean it's been years since I played this game, so that's why this series is called Cold Start, because I just jumped in with no memory of what to do. And I still am finding stuff out, and thank you again, Rock Eye, for uh, the continuous stream of excellent advice. Oh, continue. I'm going to make sure the pads are off. The base needs to go through a bit of a recovery period right now. I'd like to see some things stabilize. And I might tinker the manufacturing limits a bit, so I'm actually going to kill... Or no, we still want to have emergency people. Yeah, we'll just kill the permissions, because we still want emergency people. We like them. So we'll go ahead with that. But we're going to let the base kind of recover. Um, I think it would be very wise if I found room for another spares mill in the new mine area, which is here. It looks like no, or else I already did. It's one or the other. And, okay, that sucks. Now, there should be a robotics facility near here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put a robot builder into it. Bidunk. Bidonka, bidank, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it nothing. I'm not doing that. That's crazy. You know, that's that's heavy enough. However, a lot of this episode is going to be about furnishing. Oh my god. Well that'll get used up. Let's hope we don't run out of storage. Oh my god, look, water alerts, food alerts, yeah, see, problem. Problem, 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 and probably just nipping it at the possiblest time of nipping. Let us take a look at our bot stats. 27, 14, and 58. And let us take a look at the limits. 80. 25, 30. Not looking solid. We need more semiconductor production, but I don't think we can deal with that at this time. I, I think steel will not support it workers will not support it. The main thing I really want to do today is A, not have everyone starve, because that's starting to get tetchy. B, furnish all the uh, unfurnished stuff. I guess I could do trade of coins only. We're quite rich. But I think I'm going to just not do that because uh, I'm just going to not do that. Oh, that's one thing I was going to do, is take those manufacturing limits, and I'm going to take spares up to 15. And uh, I suppose I could take semiconductors down to 10, but I want all the semiconductor machines loaded at all times. So, yeah, that's a bit of an ish. McNish. Whoa, sorry kids. Sorry kids, everyone relax. There's not really a problem, it's not going to be an ish. So yeah, so getting ready for the 6th century means mostly making sure that there's food and uh, entertainment and sleep added everywhere over almost any other concerns. We're obviously producing quite a lot of veg, although obviously not very many here. So honestly, if I want to jam food in here, I'll have to yoink these and turn them into veg production, which is a shame. I really like tree domes, you know. I'm a, I have a thing for them. That is just not getting built. It, there are resources, but uh, apparently no one has time. Um, also, to do this expansion, we will, of course, have to up power by at least one more teeny nudgelet. <sighs> Location for that, maybe is what I'll think about right this second, is where power go, and that's looking like here. Uh, where's the closest? Hey, empty biodome. Well, that's a good thing. Um, 
so where's the closest airlock to this disaster zone? Way over there. Oh no, there's one right here. So nobody's gonna die. We have the steel. <sighs> the question is, is it a fan or the other? And do we have spares support for that right now? Uh, these are just not happening. I don't know if we even have the workers. We probably don't have the materials or the carrier bots to load them or any god-awful thing to deal with this. I suppose more workers might be key and maybe more engineers might be key. So maybe I should do that. Food's not broken. Food's is not broken. So let's go ahead and... Where the hell is my other pad, man? Here we are. Food's not broken. Let's go ahead and do a 50-50 worker and engineer. Because biology's not broken either. Why is this giving me such a hard time? There we go. Yeah, we won't call those in just yet. We're going to let it rest just for a minute or three. We're going to leave this poor base alone for five seconds. But I guess spares production will jump, and other production will... Oh, yeah, see, they're miserable and tired. This is bad. There's no way to add entertainment in this area. Is that at least a bar? Yeah, thank God. Uh, well, there's probably some vegetables around the area. That's a lack of carrier bots. Mm. Right, bot type production. That's a thing. Have they built that? Oh my god, they're finally building it. Good lord, that took a while. Do we do this as a little bot? Let's take a look and see what our problems are with bots. I think we go ahead and leave it as a carrier bot manufactory. Now these cost semiconductors, we're not touching it. Uh, our semiconductor production stinks. It stinks. It raw stinks. Our food production, well, you know, the biologists aren't the happiest lot. We're going to leave it alone, and I think we will go ahead and power these bad boys on. I haven't asked for that power build yet, but you know what? I'm kind of taking it slow today. Like I said, I'm a bit tired. I, uh, uh, I just, uh, what can I say? My back has been really bad, which is not, oh my god, grid. Jesus Christ. I guess we'll survive it. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and put that power in right away, Ashley. I hope they don't land two ships at once, and I hope it's not raiders. I really hope it's not raiders. I really hope it's not raiders. Is it? Nope. It's an engineer and a worker. Very fine. Very fine, we'll leave that alone. I could even kill that pad now. Let's... Just to reduce the risk. So getting that power in is probably wise, because I think we're relatively close. Same with water. We're relatively close. We don't exactly have mountains of steel. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a thing. Okay, there goes that ship. And here comes another Plisno Rady. Plisno Rady. It's only sending little ships, which is good. We don't want to overbalance the base. Let's see what we get this time. Three engineers. Okay, we've put it to workers now. Voin. And 10% guard. Because guards. Because guards. I think we'll just leave the one pad on. Ah, you know... Actually, also in the interests of power conservation, because I'm not convinced that our grid is very well. Spares are holding. So, three engineers, that's a big help. Let us make some... Oh, is it going to be a bungee for them to maintain the thing? What if I put an exhaust outlet right here? Like, what if I went ahead and put a then it would end up being an internal one. Am I wrong? It would end up being an internal one, which we don't strictly need. 
So back to the question, is it wind or is it uh, solar? Let's just take a look at that grid. We are not making enough juice. It's solar, I think, might be the wise man's choice here. And we're getting in as close as we can to the laser. I always have to say it that way, I'm sorry. It's from an old Beatles movie where the bad guy was always talking about how he was going to build the laser. It was a terrible movie. I think it was a Beatles movie. The Beatles made some bad frippin' movies. Two workers. Okay, we're gonna get one more load in and risk that raid. We have, like, skeedly poot guns. We'll try to buy some guns. Okay, where was I? I didn't get that even placed. We said the laser. Oh, God, stop it. Oh, my God. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm a useless idiot. Ponk padonk. And how about a water pod? Ponk padonk. And, uh, you know, if we're just going to get wacky out here, why don't we put a fan in, too? Ponk padonk. Oh, come on now. Boink. Water. That should boof our water system pretty solid. I think I'll put in a tower. Just for those short moments. That's the biggest tower you can build. It stinks. It's so small. I don't like it there. I want the tower somewhere else. I want like a little teeny water tower somewhere now. But there's nowhere really good. Oh, well, let's put a big one out here. Yeah, sure. We're not. It's only two steel. Point, point, junk. Okay, we'll put in a water tower. That's dumb, but whatever. So, two power units in a water tower. That's going to slaughter our steel. Here comes a sheep. Please, no raid. Give me guard. Give me guard. Ooh, three workers. Okay, 100% guards. Uh, and that will trigger a raid. It'll be like, oh, you want guards, do you? We'll have a raid. So, just one pad stays open. Four nowsies. Now, that's going to hurt steel so bad that we're going to go ahead and open for trade. And turn on the damn pad. What the hell? Even though our power system's about to bail. So we're going to go ahead and throw a collector in out here as well. On the end of the chain here, click clack. Patel. Oh my god, what? Oh ho! Plus no raggy. I'll stop saying that. That's lame. I'm lame. I'm a lame guy. Two guards. I like it. Okay, let's turn colonist off, because we don't want to overdo things here. Two guards is nice. They'll pick themselves up two guns, and that'll be dandy. Let's see if there's any form of recovery in uh, bots. Ooh, sort of semi. Okay, manufacturing limits. Oh, yeah, we got a problem. <laughs> the whole bot thing is a problem. Maybe those three engineers weren't enough, but... Uh, you know, let's not stress. Oh, that is so cool. What can you say? That simply rocks. Okay, we got some miserable, sad people here. Alicia Lay, don't run out of O2 is really all I'm wanting from you. So. Oh, that's hopefully a traitor. Yes, it is. Hello, traitor. Oh, thank you for having these things. And that, and uh, I think we're okay on spares. So let's give him a little meds. Actually, yeah, let's just totally just give him meds. Eleven's not a bad carry load. I think bioplastics fine. I would really save a lot of work for everyone if I. Just cut that way down and used up some of this excellent money we've accumulated instead. You know, we kind of want to take it bloody easy on the base. That way only three bots or people have to path to... Oh, come on. And then, and then I'll go way past it. No, there we go. Yeah, let's keep that workload down. 
Let's keep that workload down. That's kind of part of what we're doing here. Let's keep that workload down. So we got people that are sad and miserable. What's our general happiness looking like? Meh, it's holding. It's bobbly. Ooh, it's bobbling down. It's okay. We do have a build on, and that always costs. But that should... Hello. Nice. Hello. Oh, look at all that. Oh, my God. Whoops. Uh, no, let's not buy that. But let's totally buy those. Okay, so that's going to cost us a lot. We'll throw in a... Again, just three meds. Let's keep it down. And then we're just going to dump in that coin. Oh, the commission's horrible. Let's make it like six meds. Because the commission's absolutely a disaster on that. That's a lot of steel. So, yay, basically. That's a lot of steel. We're fine on spares. Trade and go. Actually, we're so good on spares, I could almost replace a spares mill with a... Uh, no, don't, because you're putting in power. No, don't, because you're putting in power. Oh, look at that little guy going off-road like a beast. Well, this ought to help. That gives us a real nice whack of steel. Oh, that is going to cost... Wow, trade time. It's pretty exciting. Trade time. Now we get some steel. That should really boosterize things. Uh, should I dare colonists? Let's go for one thing of guards, eh? Just one thing of guards. Let's watch these pads right here. Let's just sit here. Yeah, hello. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I can't take it right now. Oh, thank God. Calling us off. Ah, thank you for giving me those guards, game. I love it. And look at all that delectable steel. Now what if, watch this guy have the semiconductors that we so heavily desire. Well, he only has that many. Uh, let's just pay for that straight with money. Why not? That's what the money's for. There's no point accumulating it if you don't occasionally give the base a little break from misery. Because, honestly, yeah, we've been giving the base a bit of a hard time. I think we'll deactivate trade now. You know, at first I was like, I wish you had separate permissions for pads, but now I'm like, okay, I see why you don't, because it's nice to turn them both off, basically. So I'm really happy. 317, an auspicious number. The yellowness of the arrow on steel indicates to me that steel production is not good enough. Uh, maybe I should uh, be producing more driller bots. Well, they are at 30, and they've made it to 25, basically. The other numbers are going up-ish. Maybe I should drop constructors to 20. Just do that right now. Let's just do that right now. And we'll keep semiconductors churning. Maybe we'll even push it to 20 just to keep the absolute hell boost on it, right? Okay, I'm really happy with how all that turned out. Oh yeah, look, the arrow on steel's turning red now. Oh my god. Oh, I should have paid more attention to those arrow colors. Got room for another steel bomber? I do, but it doesn't look like we've got necessarily staff for another steel bomber. Um, bioplastic solid. We'll just hold. Oh, Bioplastic's got a red arrow as well, frankly. Gosh darn it. Okay then, well, we'll put in one of them as well. And we'll try to get in a load of work areas, because meals are still holding. So let's go colonists and crank it to workers. Uh, 90 and 10. Sounds good. We need those workers. Looks like we really do, before we get our expanding done. Oh, I suppose part of the fact that the arrows are a bit red might have to do with this mess. But this is necessary for the expansion. It would almost be smart to have an airlock right on here. It would almost be smart, but it would take up necessary expansion space. Which is not what we want. Oh, good. Nice water tank there. That's very good. And there you go. Yes. Oh, well, it's snarties. 
Oh, let's just see what we've got here. Uh, one worker. We will leave the pads on for one more worker, I think. Because workers do all tasks, and the thing is, some other staff do workery tasks like carrying stuff. And the more people we have dealing with that, and the more bots we have dealing with that, kind of the better. So, we've gotten to 60 carriers, but our steel's gone. Oh, look at that. That is trippy. Uh, usually we're on X4. So now we're watching it rise out of the ground incredibly slowly. How's that bot doing? Oh, he's in solid shape. Okay, metal processor up. Good, because ore is solid. Oh, snap. Here we go. Uh, I'm just waiting for the... I'm just waiting to get freaking hit, because it's going to happen, right? It's a disaster. Uh, okay, I'm going to take those three workers and kill colonists for the moment. I think that's really nice. So we gained a total of four workers. I'll take game speed to X2. And I th think, yeah, I'll we'll just... Do I want Trader back on? Yeah, I could trade meds if I need to. Good stuff. Yeah, we would like another grab of steel, I guess, because we do have more things to build. And we're preparing for expansion. Oh my god, unmanned? Are you kidding me? Okay, so we need engineers. Oh my god. 50-50. Ah, oh, wind turbine has been built. Let's hope we don't get killed. We're gonna get killed. They're gonna raid us. Ah, pretty shortly that'll all be functional. Uh, we might need a second turbine. Oh my god, no. What's happening to me? Okay, that's fine. Ah, god. Okay, calling us off. That's good. We just got more workers, so. Oh, but we need engineers. Crap and stacks. Put it back on and just leave it 50 50 for now. Alright, trading ship. He's got nothing we want. Send him. That is all good. Yeah, another fan. Another fan. Spare should just barely hold, so... Put it right in here. Like that. Okay. Fans aren't the greatest thing, but... We're gonna be yikes. Fans aren't doing much, eh? There we go. God, the danger level is up and up and up and up and up here. I left it on 50-50. I should have made it full engineers, eh? But, you know, workers. One and one. Oh. One more run of one and one. But look, that's still unmanned like a demon. And so is that scope. Oh, well. 50-50 and we're going to risk one more run. Oh, God. Yeah, meals are actually holding. So, not an issue. Uh, I think we need to get another collector. We'll get a steel trader. We'll get a steel trader. It'll be fine. You'll see. We'll get a steel trader and everything will be fine. Let's build another solar panel. God, those are expensive. That one's got to go in tight. Oh, hello. We're about to get killed. Or, no, that's a trader. Maybe that solar panel would have been a mistake anyways. Maybe the fan's enough, eh? Probably is. Uh, we want this stuff, that's for sure. We don't have money to pay for it, so we're gonna have to just do meds only. So that's gonna be a little bit, uh, dicey there. Oh, you're not serious. Well, let's just see if we can't, uh... How's bioplastic? Looking good. Oh dear, that's uh, really getting really expensive. Hello. Oh, that's good. Let's do it. They'll get meds out from nearby there. It'll be fine. Okay, so another panel? Well, maybe, yeah. Yeah, we can't, we can't screw this up. We need enough power. It's got to have enough power. So. Yeah, we're going for it. We'll just try to trade for some steel, because we just hosed our steel. 
Oh yeah, what's our thing here? 50-50, sure, that actually sounds pretty smart, especially because food's not broken. Food's going to be broken pretty shortly. I mean, that was partly what this episode was in aid of, was the fact that food was about to be broken, so... Let's hope we get one of each and I'll call it good, right? Ah, oh, shit. Well, how did they all fit in that little ship? That's what I wonder. Well, we're about to see some fireworks. I don't know which airlock to follow here. God, there's no security near there. Uh-oh, hey, where's the first one here? They're going in the hospital. Oh, they're all over the place. At least that worker has a gun, thank God. Why don't you punch them or something there, yo? Uh, Ivan Pruitt Engineer, okay. We're gonna lose more colonists. I'm guaranteeing you we're gonna lose more colonists. Yeah, we're gonna lose more colonists. Oh yeah, ouch. I'm gonna leave that red alert on. I guess we jack up our demand for engineers now. Because we just lost one. Okay, we'll leave it on yellow alert. For the moment. And we kind of need biologists, but we are packing on the veg and meat like a demon, so it should be okay. Would someone please treat these people? Maybe we need medics. Actually, seems like we might. She's gonna die. She might. She could die. Alright, fine. Medics are about to be a big part of this. Let's do that. Okay, that's all good. Take the alert off so we can finish our trade. Let's see what we get here. God damn, what a mess. Yeah, we got people wanting all sorts of crap. Okay, two engineers. Alright, we're gonna go for another round of medic and engineer. God damn it. What a mess. Who's, who's coming to treat these people? What a living act. Oh, thank God. Took them a bloody while, didn't it? Why don't you... Yeah, treat the one who's dying, exactly. Oh, she's actually doing really good. She's gonna be fine. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. How many things is he waiting for? Seventeen. I hope he doesn't leave on a whim or anything, eh? Oh, yeah, because they're, like, dropped stuff and everything. Oh, God damn it. Because alert. Okay, well, that sucks in Rota Steel. That sucks in Rota Steel. <laughs> we'll get this figured out. Yes, we will. I'm gonna say I think we need those medics. I think we need all staff right now, frankly. But we're pushing the bases. Oh, no! I keep doing that. Instead of hitting Q and E, I'll hit the numbers. I'm just not paying attention. Also, the little guide nubs have worn off my keyboard long ago. It came with little bumps to show you, oh god, they've only gotten two more resources into it. This is a dreadful trade. Uh, we have lots of meds. Oh well. Oh, I guess the meds got path to people needing them. Oh, for god's sakes, eh? Well, that means only one pad's open, so hey, we can watch this pad. Here we go. Please don't kill me, game. I hope it doesn't ever raid you twice in a row. I don't think it does. Okay, two medics. Uh, do we call that good? And go back to... Um, uh, take that off. Oh, well, you know. Hmm. It's actually just about ideal. Good lord, are we ever building up the people. Meals are now starting to bump lower slightly. But it's not a big stress. What did we even trade with this guy for? A couple of bloody guns, eh? Well, that's okay, we need them. We need dim guns. Okay, well, quick save on that. That was a disaster. That was an absolute wreck. Oh, good. He's finally getting his resources. What a relief. That was a bit of a big trade. It kind of overloads the base. What's our general happiness down to? Meh? Better than you would have expected, and bots are okay. So that's pretty cool. That's ah, one of these mid-sized sort of honey ant-looking ships. 
and we got a worker and two engineers. That's pretty good. Unless that's a guard, but I think that's a worker. Yep. That's pretty good. A worker and two engineers. Man, that's starting to be pretty good. That's starting to be pretty good. I'll just uh, move biologist into the mix. And uh, like that. Oops. Hang on. Okay, that's now the mix. Because. Because. It'll be fine. Everything's gonna work out. We really need steel. Ooh, are you gonna die? Don't die. Oh god, it's already a colony ship. Okay, it's tiny, so it's gonna give me a total fraction of what I wanted. Eight biologist. Well, one's pretty good, actually. I could totally knock the biologist percentage down now. I just kind of wanted a little boost on it, so... Yeah, let's take biologist down to 10 and leave it like that. And we will take just a few more colonists on, eh? Although I think we're starting to push it. Now, how are you doing there? Unhappy and thirsty. We do need more thirst pods installed, everything, but, you know, that's expansion stuff, and I just totally ruined the base, so we can't expand. Pretty funny. But I did this pre-expansion bit here, which is really necessary, and it's really gonna require an airlock, basically. It's a shame about that. I don't know quite where to put the airlock, because it sort of needs one, but uh, it's gonna have to do like it is. Okay, what do we get? A worker and an engineer. That's pretty skookum. Whoa, what do we got here? Trader. Okay, good. So let's just see what this guy has. We don't want to put a big trade on them again. Uh, he's got nothing. Let's dismiss. We'll leave trade on. We need steel, so. And as for colonists, well, that's a tough one. I still kind of like these percentages. They seem about bloody right. Let's just leave them on. Oh, please get this stuff built, but we need the steel, we don't have the steel, and we don't have the steel production, and we're bloody well lucky we have anything else. I'm probably trashing bot production. It's surviving, though. Are we getting two ships at once? I really hope we aren't. We're not. Plus no raid. It won't. One engineer. Okay, this is looking good. Then I'm gonna say... Let's just go with workers. Uh, let's take that off. And give that on. Yeah, like that. And that's the last load, I think. Whether or not we get an engineer, we'll call that the last load. And we'll hope that one extra biologist will do, but I think it will. Nothing's looking red in biology. It just looks yellow. It just looks yellow, not red. Oh, we are going to put more load on biology. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, what? Oh, it's a traitor. Okay, good. Let's just adjust those percentages. Oh, let's get a whole bunch of plan of biology here. That seems good. Okay, trader. What's he got? Ah, uh, stuff we want. We're not dead on spares, but we'll take those two items, right? And that costs 168, so we can do that pretty easily, right like that, and then a small amount of money. Yeah, that seems quite reasonable, actually. I am not sad. No, I'm not sad. Let's spiff things up quick and we'll see who comes to the pad. So we only lost one citizen last time. We need more guns. We need more guns. So even a little ship can spawn a big pile of raiders. That I didn't know. I thought if it was a little ship it would just spawn a little pod of raiders, but no. One worker. I think I might have to call out a day. No, we're gonna go one more. We're gonna go one more. 
gonna go one more. Even though it's insane. And that's gonna get done nice and quick and be a reasonably profitable trade, although it's not helping us with steel. However, it looks like stuff is getting done here. We're getting another fan up. So let's just see our... Yeah, see, grid, grid not healthy. Grid not healthy. This was indeed a very necessary build. I know I'm running the game really slow today, but uh, it's just the mood I'm in. I'm not like soups on my game, so... Okay, he's almost ready. That's great. I really hope someone shows up with some steel. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, another turbine. What's that do for the grid? Probably not a lot, but it helps. Yeah, and another collector smart. Yeah, another collector smart. So, okay, we'll speed it up till we get a ship. Just let people work a little. I would like another engineer, but I think engineering is doing... Oh, oh, hello. Um, yes, you may come. And we'll just go to full speed, because we know they'll get treatment. And here we have the colony ship. And please don't do it to me, right? It didn't, and it gave me a two workers and a biologist. I'm skookum pleased. Colonist off, that is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. That should help steel production, everything. So now the big challenge is furnishing balancing and getting a ton of food and entertainment facilities jammed in all over this place without breaking it. <clears throat> food, entertainment, and sleep. We're fairly close to enough production. We don't have enough steel production, but I'm hoping that can improve. Wow, that was really cool. That was just really cool. So yeah, with 27 driller bots, what's our limit on them? 30. 15 constructors with a 20, 61 with 80, 100 guns we'll never get, but we'll try. We only have one gun foundry. Oh, and we do need to put in more security doodles. 20 semiconductors we'll never get, but we'll try. 15 spares is not enough. We're going to boost it to 20 to make sure the mills stay loaded. And steel production's a really big issue. So, I don't know where the most steel gets productorated, but we're going to try to amplify it just that little bit. Um, I just don't even know. These aren't getting loaded or anything. We need more driller bots. Okay, we need more driller bots. Manufacturing limits 35, and they are rising, so production of them is solid. And... Oh, stand storm detected. Okay, so I should probably switch off trade right now. And I should probably uh, call everyone in. No, I have to call everyone in. This guy's just going to have to leave. He was already deorbiting, I guess, but uh, weird the way the patch shows through. Oh, shit. Well, how much can I afford with money? He has a terrible commission. Uh, I won't try for his guns. But I will just buy steel to the point where I can, right? Yeah, that seems like that's all the steel we're going to be able to afford. And we're going to go ahead and just do that. There we go. That's actually happy times, because that metal won't get degraded completely. And we got these injured dudes. They should be okay. Oh, that's really good, because we dis desperately, desperately needed that steel. I mean, look at this. Mess. That needs, like, seven steel still. Oh, look, there's one that got left there. That's okay, so our pads are completely disabled except for emergencies. We're still obviously short either radio station controllers or... Oh, it's probably a shortage of desks more than it is a shortage of engineers, eh? That wouldn't shock. But it seems like semiconductor production has stabilized a trifle. 
No, spares are down because we have all that metal, but it's outside. Where's this bloody sandstorm, yo? It just hasn't happened. Where's the uh, sandstorm? Like, this is a long alert to run the base at, right? Well, they'll process down the ore that we have, and that'll that'll be good and helpful. But, uh, yeah, what exactly is going on? We do need more steel production super badly. Why isn't this sandstorm showing up? I don't understand. I don't appreciate having this alert on all day. There it is. Good. I'm gonna... Should I pull one of these? Yeah, I'm gonna pull this. And I'm gonna pop in a steel bobbler. I don't know if it'll help. It's probably not really what needs to happen. Considering that there's no bloody ore. Right. Ah, the number is going up. So maybe 35 will do the job, right? 15 constructors is where we're stuck at. Now, I don't want to spend semiconductors, but I want more bot maintenance stations, because I think that'll probably help with basic bot durability. And yeah, we just need amenities pounded into this place, because they don't have enough places to eat, drink, and sleep that are accessible. Uh, in fact, I could replace some of this stuff, like I could probably yark this hospital and replace it with uh, some form of hospitality machine. We've got a biodome right here. And we're piling up a ton of food right there. Let's York this hospital out right now. Bam! Oh, uh, wait. Oh, yes, it's accessible. <laughs> Just make sure, right? Bang! It's gone. And then we'll put a nice, uh, you know, lounge in there. Oh, we'll put something nice in there. Okay, it's beautiful. Let's get this storm over as quick as we can. Good lord, eh? It's dreadful. Okay, the music stopped, but the storm hasn't. There's our metal processor. It doesn't help. But whatever. We've processed out our ore. Okay, I think the storm is ending. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Gracious me. Now, I don't think it'll let me build anything in that pile of stuff, but I think the best thing to have would be a big old meals place. Right in there. So that's what we'll do. A big old meals place. They just have to go get all that junk first. It'll be fine. They'll be fine. And of course we're going to need hospital space to replace the lost hospital space. But yeah, we'll work that out. Maybe there's some room this way. Not very. Not very, not very. Well, we'll figure it out. We just got to remember that we owe the base a hospital. I just gotta remember that we owe the base a hospital. Now, they've probably not got that cleared. Let's see how they're doing with all this jazz. They should be able to make it pretty quick now. Two and one. Yes, it won't be long. Oh, our poor workers. Oh, God, no. Please, no kill. Please, no kill. Please, no kill. Pads are off except for emergencies. This is still not quite cleared away, but it's getting done, and I'm sure glad that airlock was right there. Yeah, I want more bot maintenance stations, but I want more of a lot of things. However, I do think that these guys need... Uh, I think they've got sufficient sleeping space in this area. What I think they need is eating space. Okay, let's drop the speed now. So I'm going to get a canteen... And yeah, let's see if we can get a double join on that bad boy. That'd be nice, and we can. It's only a small canteen. Well, let's just try with it with a large canteen, shall we? You know, I didn't think the large one would fit on a first try, but let's just double check. No, I won't. There we go. Bang, pop. Oh, come on now. Pop. Bang, pop, bang, pop. That should help. Because I do see hungries and thirsties. It'll give them something to path to. There should be just about enough sleeping accommodations. 
Uh, now, what about hungries and thirsters down here? They got a bar and they've got a food, so that's good. And that bar is got supplies, so that's good. And there's sleeping arrangements, so that's good. There's not that many people working down here. That's okay. Bar production is what it is. We're gonna need more engineers one day soon. Oh god, steel's down to four. Oh my god. Okay, steel production's critically poor. It really is. We've thrown a bit of workers at the problem, which should help a little. Um, and of course we are doing builds, which is painful. Let's just see how those bots are doing, because that's kind of part of it. They're wobbling. Bots are wobbling. And of course without steel, no bots. Right? It's a thing. Um, yeah, let's check bot inhabitation of mines here. See how we're doing. Uh, it's medium, right? Yeah, semi bot inhabitation of mines. We need the more bots. But it's not getting done for the moment. Still, we have been asking for stuff, which is always painful. Now, somebody or something may build itself into a corner here. Let's bloody hope not. Let's bloody hope not. It shouldn't take them too long to finish this. Oh god, of course, they're still building that stuff. Oh god, will spares hold? Oh my god, well I better leave the base alone for five minutes in the hope that spares hold. This needs one more steel, so that's all. And man, are we ever dead on steel, but, you know, we'll be fine. Spares are a little bumpy. Semiconductors are looking solid. Maybe I should take that back down a ways. Ah, no, we need it for bots. Just that one steel's got to come out here. What's this guy hauling? I don't even know. Oh, it was ore. Okay, please don't build yourself in. Oh, you little shite cake. Well, that's one engineering bot down. Oh no, he got out. I was gonna say that's what engineering brought down, but it's his bro here who's gonna come and finish the job. Thank you for being smart, you rock. SP down to one. Let us furnish this with uh, two meal makers and two big tables. And please, water. Really need water in there. That's really important. And video screens before plants, because they probably provide more entertainment than plants, I guess. Hard to say, but we'll just jam these in here, eh? So that people can use them. Oh yeah, screen room. Which is the screening room. Let's just see if we can snag one plant in. Not a plant in the place, but hey, we're okay with it. It is the screen room. Okay, that's a good thing. I'm happy that that happened. That was worth killing a hospital because it also improved base interconnectivity, which we like. And we definitely had the bioplastic for that. Good God. I put in more steel stompers, but we don't have the ore production. We simply do not have the ore production, and without more driller bots, we won't. They're bouncing back up again. Steel is in the toilet. Uh, I guess we should probably open for visitors. Of course, it gets us raided and stuff, but we should probably open for visitors and probably open for traders in the hopes of getting our hands on a little more booster steel. While well, we're working on things, we did do some absolutely hectically massive builds, and spares are in the freaking toilet, so. Yeah, that's an issue. They're not broken. Spares aren't broken. Food's not broken. Interestingly, we do see a slight dip in the meat and veg, along with the slight dip in food. Alcoholic beverages are solid. We will get a very tiny boost in meals from what we just did. Just tiny. And I don't dare push bioproduction up right now. At all. It's not gonna happen. So, we got some hungry tireds here. They'll find uh, food and shelter. They'll be alright. They'll be alright. We need more and more and more of this kind of thing. Of course we need carry bots to service it. 
They are flat. Carry bots are flat. It's metal. Without metal, we can't proceed, so that's the way it is. But anyway, we'll get a little coins from visitors, and we'll trade in meds. Where med production is perfect and steady. And let's check these. They're doing fine. Now, do we have a food in here? Yeah, it's doing fine. It's all good. It's fine. Probably put another uh, video screen in there, but... Uh, yeah, we do have the bioplastic to do a furnishing run, but again, I don't want to do a lot of carrying. Wow, this is a really cool ship. I don't want to do a lot of carrying. The base needs to settle. Okay, nice. We're happy with that. We will keep to a slower speed right now as well. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that veg and meat are happening very thoroughly. I'm unsure that we have enough food production. Really unsure that we have enough food production, but uh, that should help. Yeah, it's getting loaded up. Basic meal, and what do we got? Salad and salad, whatever. Let's see what the next one comes out to be. Joint, basic. Ah, crap. What kind of meat are we producing over here? Beef, pork, chicken, beef, goat. All good. Biologists would be the next thing. Uh, we're seeing a fast dip. We're seeing a fast dip. Biologists now. Immediately. Um, we're seeing a very rapid dip in veg. Just from adding that little bit. So, okay, that's good. Biologists immediately. They can always do carry duty. And there's enough food. So now we're wide open, trader, visitor, and colonist, the most open of pads. Oops. God, I just have trouble with these buttons. And those guys will be there for a minute longer, but not much. So that's cool. Ah, grid. Water, very solid. Power, looks great. Liking it. Although we are going to place demands upon it, and spares are dumpy. We're going to hope steel buffs up while we leave the base alone a bit. We're going to hope bot production buffs up. It isn't. Newsflash, bot production is not buffing up. But it's also not awful. It's kind of bouncing back and forth. It's not a complete disaster. It's just a lack of metal. It's a dire lack of metal, which is partly a dire lack of ore. But the one type of bots that is bouncing upwards well, actually, constructors and drillers are bouncing upwards, and once we hit the 20 limit on the constructors, then probably carriers will bounce a little. If carriers start falling way under 60... Oh, look, food's back. It was a momentary dip. We do not want to run into over-need for storage. I think we have some very nice empty storage base still. So stuff will get, yeah, hauled to them if necessary. We can add another one if we need to. We might need to. It's good to have stored because you don't want crap stacked in the hallways. Even if it means a lot of carrying. And yeah, I want so much right now. Like, I want those bot facilities completely fleshed out with more bot repairs. That's kind of job one. But without that Titchmore steel, it isn't happening. I think we've kind of rebalanced starch and bioplastic by pulling out the one starch maker. Oh my god. What do I get? Two biologists. Um, am I going to call that enough? No. I'm not. But I might change the mix up a little bit. Um, might ask for some engineers as well. I guess. Does that seem sensible? Engineers are awful handy, but we sure need that steel production up, so... Let's go with this, and let's see what we get, right? Let's see what we get. It looks like we can afford to dump a few more colonists in, but we do... Actually, maybe two biologists. There's quite enough biologists. So, yeah, let's do like that. 
can we do 30, 30? No, of course. We have to put 10% on guard. And then we have to put, uh, oh god. No. Or, uh, okay. I got it. I did it. I'm brilliant. I'm a genius with numbers. I always was so smart. My parents told me I was smart, but you know what parents are like, right? They're like, oh, you're such a good kid. It's like, no, no. Not really. Okay, night's most of the way over. I think power's okay for the moment, but we gotta be careful with it. Okay, so if we can get steel, we want it. Oops. He has steel. He has spares, which it's... I just don't want to buy spares. I mean, I suppose it's the same as buying steel, but they're kind of slightly more. How much does the steel cost? Oh, it's 15, too. Let's buy the damn spares, then. And let's do this with meds. Perfect. We'll take 10 cents off his hands. No, we won't. We'll put in one more med, and we'll take, like, 12 cents off his hands or something. Perfect. 23 cents and some useful guck versus 11 meds. I'm not sad. We're fine. That seems reasonable. Okay. All the builds are built. Power's notchy. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the night's ending. We're not in disaster shape. Okay, and spares won't hack anymore. Spares won't hack anymore. Oh god. It's... it's... there's so many issues. There's so many issues, man. We're so close to problems. Oh, it looks like visitors. Yeah, they're real visitors, too. That's awesome. They are money-making. We really need that money. We really need a lot of stuff. Looks like we're holding our own, though. 61, 18, 29, slight rise in bots, so as long as I don't ask for anything. Now what's the manufacturing limit on spares right now? 20, so we're nowhere near it. And we'll take semiconductors back to 15, even though it's not going to really make a difference, but, uh... Let's, you know, let's... Okay, so we got some metal off that guy, not bloody much, but we got some stuff off that guy. Okay. Oh, he's a traitor. Good. Let's just see what he's got. Oh, look at that. We love it. Let's fire this stuff into the base, eh? Hey? In desperation, we fire this stuff into the base. And we pay with an absolute poop stack of meds. Why not? An absolute poop stack of meds, and that's all the meds we can spare for a while. And we still have to build a new hospital. So that's a really massive trade, but it's a really good trade in my opinion. It should help us. It should help us with our dreadful issues, which are to do with ore production as well as staffing. It's a bit of a thing. How's our general happiness looking? Oh, it's boosted. It's from leaving them alone. This trade is going to bring it down again. Well, let's bring the speed up. Yeah, we're dropping bots like flies. Let's just see here. Yeah, you know, it's not bad. Our production's awful static, though, so... We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We'll keep on doing this. How long does it take to load that many meds? I wonder. Let's just watch. Well, let's go right down and watch the loading. See how tired people are getting and how many bots are involved. That constructor was carrying stuff away, not loading. Constructors don't do loading. Oh yeah, so we're drawing staff away from everything, and they are getting exhausted and hungry, so... Better not do any more big trades for a bit, but, uh... Only one resource left to go. And here it comes. A worker who is very hungry. Just threw that down. And they left behind a big pile of useful junk, and some guns and stuff, so we like it. These guys, I think, are heading right back to their ship right now, actually. Let's... Oh my god, no, what am I doing? Help! Okay, we've got an engineer, and... What? An engineer? No, we got somebody else here, didn't we? Nope. We've got an engineer. Well, I like getting an engineer. 
Maybe I'll go back to biologist and worker. That seems like a good set of percentages. It's, you know, they do make it fun. They do make it fun. Those guys weren't heading back to their ship yet. Room goes the little ship. Oh, I loved its sort of counter-facing engines. What's this idiot doing? What the F are you doing? Well, you're just going to break down out there. Well, then let's put a mine over here. You know, if we're going to have that problem, let's put a mine over there. Let's see what this has got. Wow, look at them all scurrying around. It's so cool. Oh shit. Big problem of bad times. Uh, guys, everything's bad. You get guns? Yeah. Good, get guns. All of you. Get guns now. It's bad, bad. Shoot them. Shoot and kill them now. Quickly, please. Killing? No, what are you doing? Kill them. Oh god, no, they're getting medicalized. Thank god the guards have armor. You badsters. You bad jerks. Thank god that engineer has a gun, but they're gonna get shrewed. Oh look, this one's doing the punching. Oh no. Keisha Michael engineer died, and colonists have died X2? Shit, I don't even know what type of died now. Cut to yellow alert. God damn it. Well, in that case, we need engineers. And I think we need more guards. So, there's our percentages now. I'm really hoping we have enough medics. Alert off. Really hoping we have enough medics. What a nightmare. Sorry visitors, you shouldn't have had to experience that. I need to keep buying weapons. We need to fill this base with weaponry, because we don't have the secure airlocks. Oh, we so need more biologists. Oh my god. Yeah, those are the right percentages. We're just, you know, we've got terrible times here. Food's holding, though. Okay, so that looks like it's a visitor ship. That's good, we need the money. And yeah, we need the kind of the rest, basically, so that's also good. Let's see here. Alright, just one hungry, tired feller. Now we need to install a lot more amenities around this place, water being a big one. You know, enough water seems to be a big deal. Let's put an extra water in here. Because I do see a lot of thirsties around, you know? Let's just throw an extra water in there. And, uh, let's, uh, okay, we've got the semiconductors. See, this one's not busy, though. Yeah, we need to find a busy bot unit, eh? Is that... That's a multi-dome with no furniture. Oh my god. Okay, let's get this done right now. Let's get this done right now, eh? And, yeah, put a nice bench. Put a plant sitting beside it. And we'll put a nice bench over here. I want it to face the other way kind of thing. Uh, I'm not really sure, because we want a bench facing a screen sort of thing, but they don't do that. They stand for the screens anyway. They bench for the bench, and they stand for the screen, so... Let's get yet another water in there. Let's put two big wheels in, because maybe they're more entertaining than other items are. Some plants... Yeah, let's do it up nice. Some screens... Do it up nice... Okay, those are the screens. Go for a few more plants. That seems pretty swank. Let's put another fountain in. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that right now. Yeah, that really needed to do Of course, that's so many waters in one area now, but you know what? You can't be perfect. Okay, I might like to... Like, what is the busiest bot repair facility, basically? Is this one busy? Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Hello. Who is on the ship? We need so many things, man. Like, oh my god. Okay, we've got an engineer and two biologists. That's actually really good. I'm quite happy with that. 
I think we're gonna go just take your ultra worker and then take it 50-50 garden worker. And we'll call that good for one or two more loads. After all, you can't have too many colonists, you gotta watch it. But uh, no, it's solid, it's solid. Let's check the bot fleet. <sighs> bounces up, bounces down, but it's not a disaster. We're still depending on external steel injections though, so bit of a problem. Bioplastics still uh, in an astounding state of overproduction, but I guess that's okay. We just don't want to run into a storage problem. We've got the meat and veg dropping again, so that's good. Okay, that's working. And yeah, any... oh well, I don't want to do any builds. I want all that steel to flow into other stuff, basically. Uh, we were thinking about another mine. Just so the driller bots have somewhere to go on their way up and down the damn base randomly. Okay, that's a visitor ship. Let's make sure they won't raid us. I don't think they will. I don't think they will, but if the driller bots are going to drive all the way around the place, we might as well put something in the middle, right? So let's think about that. Is there anywhere here that's reasonable? Not really very much. Let's grab a mine and see if it fits anywhere cool. The answer's going to be no. Oh my god, what was that? What was that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Are you kidding me? It fit there for a second. There was a green line. How did that work? Oh my god. Yay. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Oh, and there's a nice fat bot maintenance facility right there that's all fully populated. Okay, I'm into that. I'm into that. Uh, was that a ship coming in or leaving? It's one coming in. It's visitors. Good. Little bits of money, right? Money. And if they bring the space flu, they bring the space flu. It's not a biggie. Hey, they're not raiders. Although they have raider colored suits. Are we open to trade? Yeah, we're fully open. And yeah, we're not going to get that extra hospital space in right now. That's too bad, but we're okay. We're surviving here. It'd be nice to have an airlock out this way. Oh no, it's pretty good actually. No, airlock coverage is good right there. That's good. Oh, that's the perfect place for a mine, except there's no, like, storage nearby. Well, there's that incredibly full storage. Well, that's the way that is. There's nowhere else to put a storage either. There's two small storages, but they are, in fact, too small. Okay, throwing biologists at the problem is a good idea. Let's keep doing that. Let's not forget the biologists here. Let's actually do that. 50-50 worker and biologist. Let's do that. That's better. Engineers are going to have to hold their own. They're just going to have to hold their own. I'm going to hope that having them beefed with other staff does the job. Because, yeah, basically. The scopes are manned. That's the biggest... That's the biggest thing. Like, all the different forms of production have to keep working, of course. But, uh... You know, the scope's being manned, that's the biggest thing. How's power? Dumpy. Power's dumpy, but we'll survive, I think. So we've got two sets of visitors on board, that's kind of sweet. Gives you a moment's peace even at high speed. Okay, the mine's cranked. Well, let's hope that helps the system work. We'll see how it goes, right? Oh, the nice dog is lying down. He's been having a very mellow day. It's been a rainy, quiet day here today. And, uh, eh, we've both had a pleasant day at it. Yeah, we need biologists. We are shoving for population. I don't think I have to put in stuff yet. And we really need a stabilization of production. It might get our production up by giving the stupid bots somewhere to go. And it looks like bot production is continuing to go up, but steel, of course, is ramaged. And semiconductors are toast. Hmm. 
Spares are okay, but semiconductors are dead. Does that mean I should switch one over, right? Maybe I should switch one over. Here we are. So... Pull out a spares. Bam, and put in a semiconductor. Because this is probably a slow facility anyway. It'll be fine, just do that. I never realized semiconductors would be that big of a thing, frankly. You know, you'd think you'd only need to make a few, but they're actually just as important as any other thing. Oh, maybe, uh, check those manufacturing limits. Yeah, maybe take them back up to 20 to make sure they stay loaded. That's partly why spares have been working. Okay. Alright. And, yeah, bots. Uh, stable and slightly climby, so we're happy. Um, steel's a mess, but it actually isn't broken. Food is not broken. Booze is not broken. Meds are definitely not broken. Semiconductors are broken. So, I guess that's what we've got to work on. We did put in one more. We'll see if that helps push the balance. We might have to put in another production facility. Oh, please don't be baddies. Let's just see. Nope, they're uh, all paying customers here at the old Deep Space Hotel. How excellent. And yeah, it looks like scope coverage is holding, too. And we got a semiconductor foundry in. We'll see how that works out. Hey, it's a trader. Nice. Let's see what he's got. Hello, trader. Are you Cook? Or Arjun Cock? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have anything we want. So we are just going to send him. We're not going to waste any time trying to make money through trade because work cycles and pathing. The big enemy in getting the 600 is pathing, especially with all these mountains in our way. So uh, it's all good. Okay, let's just, we can see from here. Okay, they're all good. They're nice guys. Thank gracious. Yeah, the big enemy is pathing and people getting miserable because of pathing issues and people literally dying because of pathing issues. It happens. Okay, bots have dropped. Bots have dropped. That's sad. And peevish. Okay, sandstorm detected. So, well, we'll leave the alert off for now, but we're going to go ahead and turn off traders for the moment. And if the scopes all close, we'll put the alarm on. How's that? Yeah, we'll leave the alarm off till the scopes start to shut down on us. If the second they shut down or we get the full detection... Okay, scopes are down. Put the alert on. Because that, to me, is the sensible man's methodology. And we have enough steel in-house that hopefully we'll jam up some production with the alert on here. Medics stay on duty longer means more med production. Let's check our colonist percentages right here. 25, 25, 25, really? 6 and 17. Ah, I'm pretty happy with that. And we are making a buck from these visitors. We are making a buck from them, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Check that grid. Do you have to check it a lot more often now? Power production is very good right now. Water production seems very adequate. And, uh, yep. Yep. Pretty happy. And here's the storm, so let's just crank the speed back up. Nice! And, yeah, okay, drinks a little down, food a little lot down. Food is droppy. We're gonna have to watch that. That's a whole hundred... No, that's more like two hundred gone over the course of the episode from storage. Now that might stabilize just fine, especially by injecting biologists. Or we might be having to run around and amp food production. Luckily we have quite a lot of capacity to amp food production. And one thing that we want is storage reduced. So, oh, hello, yes, come on down. We only get prestige for that, but ooh. That was a cool landing to watch, man. That was pretty skook. Hello, little guys. We'll just hide here on the hilltop and watch them. 
Look at all our little dudes walking around. If only their pathing wasn't so abysmal. It's because they're all drugged to make them better workers. Uh, now we're going to start regretting the lack of hospital space. Uh, at least there's a couple close to there. Yeah, they'll be okay. And we've got enough meds in stock. Look at that. Steel's not broken. It's only semiconductors that are broken, and they're looking less broken. Spares are psychotically good. Uh, maybe I could turn their limit back down to 15, I think. Let's do it. That might take a bit of load off everything else. And let's just see how the bot's looking. Back up. So they're bouncing and holding around the 110 mark. That's good. That's nice. Seven visitors in base. Cool. Neat. And food sucks. We kind of need those biologists. And we may have to bounce food production, or we may not. We're going to see how that works out. At least we have the capacity for it, so... That's a thing. What did we get? Raided. Crap! I hope they don't kill anyone. Oh no, and the base is asleep. Oh, we suck. Oh, people are grabbing guns anyways. That's a good thing, right? But most people are in bed. They could get shot in their beds, yo. Like, they could get shot in their beds. Luckily, they messed with a guard. Look at the other guard. He's just working his thing. What a hose hat. What a hose hat. At least there's some guns around this area. So, yeah, good. Got a guard on the job, so... Oh, look at that. Wow. Sketchy. I think that's the lot. We're gonna drop it to yellow. Just keep the medics working, basically. I well, hope we don't lose anyone. I don't think we did. And we got our prestige. So what is our prestige? We're getting there. Oh, uh, return to red. Intruder killed, and it looks like that person is screwed. Okay, we're gonna have to watch them. And, uh, watch their health. We might lose them. They're an engineer. We might lose that person. Oh, snap. It's a ship, yo. Two biologists. Did we get two at once? No, we didn't. Unless it was visitors. Okay, alert off. Because those guys got fixed up. So we're fine. We picked up two biologists and we've got another colony ship and we got three workers. Oh, I am really pleased. I've got a 100% biologist. I'm really, really happy with that. That is exactly what I wanted. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, yes. Okay, colonists off. That should fix food production, I think, by simply improving the output of the pads. That's my guess. So we're going to go ahead and put trading back on, and we'll just take smaller trades or cash trades. Oh, hello, it's a visitor. Oh, good, they're paying visitors. That's actually great. Before even a trade came, we get some visitors, so that's awesome. Ore production is stable, steel is broken. Steel is broken, man. Mm. But at least there is steel. There is steel. I just, I just lied. There's no steel. Jesus. Well, we picked up some workers. That should help. Bots are up. Bots are up, and we do have those boss li bot limits absolutely cranked. Drillers at 35, but yeah, we want it. We want it because we just want those extra drillers in. And I don't even dare build my extra bot maintenance facilities or anything. I guess this episode was more about stabilization and pre expansion. God, I hope that fixed food, eh? I really hope that fixed food. I think it probably did. That was a nice pack of biologists that came storming in. <sighs> Let's hope it worked. Let's hope it worked. Starch production steady. That's good. Steel is slightly bouncing back up. Food is just holding. Just like swankly barely holding. Meals are just swankly barely holding. And 
just watching those numbers and basically woggling back and forth watching the ships. Oh, power grid check. Again, it's not extreme, but we're just at the beginning of the day. And we are in positive with no wind, so... It's okay. It'll do. Yeah, here comes the wind, so up goes production. Oh, no, not so much. Why no producti? Okay, there it goes. We're getting more now. We'll be okay. Power's gonna hold for now. We might need more. Spares are okay. Semiconductors are back. Arms continue. Okay. And the visitors? Well, they're one of each left, and they will pay. Look at that. 35 coins from that guy. I love it. And here comes the other one. Voop. Shoo. And I don't think they paid. I don't think that one paid, man. I think they just dine and dashed us. Okay, they got absolutely zilch we want. Out they go. Right. And what was our colonist thought again? I think our colonist thought was more biologists. Right now, basically. Just get that food production stable, eh? Is that a trader? No, it's visitors, and thank god they weren't raiders, because I wasn't really watching too well. Okay, biologists? Three of them. Good. That seems awesome. That might do it. I might have to run around and fix it, but... You know what? I don't want to, if we're able to throw staff at the problem, I don't want to build out. We can really rapidly boost food production, so if it goes right in the turlet, we're okay, because we actually have enough spare space in our biodomes. Whoosh! That was really cool. That's a really neat ship. It's just the paint job that made it look different, but man, it's skookum. Okay, botcha. Oh, snap-a-dang-ding-dong. It's a visitor. Are you raiders? Are you bad? Are you bad? No, but they're paying customers. We love it. Look at our money build up. That's so sweet. We're so lucky. I haven't gotten more guards in. That's okay. We've got to get everything fixed. And I think the radio not being staffed is a lack of consoles. Because the scopes are staying pretty solid. So I'm not going to worry about that. Because, yeah, know what? Radio isn't the primary thing. What we want is, yeah, 99% interception chance is what we want. Oh, I love this music, man. I never get tired of the music in this game. So can they work in this mine? Uh, nobody is working in that mine. Oh, but somebody just was. And there's ore piled up outside it. Alright, skook em. So now it's a matter of workers for the steam hammer, so... Yeah, actually it is, isn't it? It's a matter of workers for the steam hammers and more biologists. And not running out of food. Shit, I think I'd better boost out food. Let's look for ones that are a little sparse. And just give them a light boost occasion. Yeah, like, look, this has a lot of trees in it. Oh, but there's a lot of food built up over there, forget it. How about this one? Why don't we just uh, throw in a super biological tomato plant? And a radish? And a mushroom. Oops, not gonna happen. We got lots of starch. A mushroom. Right over there. And now let's go find a faraway vitro meat. Uh, yeah, are we doing vitro meat pile up here? What's the story? Let's find a vitro meat that doesn't have many vitro meters in it, or could use more, like up here, for example. Could probably use a little more vitro meat. Let's rip this one out, which is on pork, and see if we can't put two in. I think I probably tried this already. Oh, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I probably tried to put two in already, but let's see if we can. No, we've, yeah, we can. So we're going to, and so that. If any of these are on chicken, they come off it, put it on pork. And what's this one on? Beef, fine, it's good. Okay, and let's throw a little pad in here of a GM onion. Right 
there. And let's put a lettuce pad in right there. Actually, let's just recycle that and let's go ahead and put a wheat pad in. Unless we already have wheat there. Now we got maize. Okay, let's pull maize. And put in uh, something more productive. Such as... Oh, hell and fire rice. No, why not? Need some rice around the place, right? Rice is nice. Okay, we have a lot of food built up there. That's really psychotic. I've been making mistakes, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? We really need to jack food production pretty hard right now, so... Let's put in a GM onion. Let's put in a potato. Let's put in a pea pad. I know we're going to get overloaded with starch, but we need the production and we need the variety. Let's see if we've got any space left in there. I guess not. So let's just move out of there. And let's get over this way. Ah, uh, here we are. So let's go ahead put in a GM tomato. Um, a wheat. Another GM tomato, a GM onion. And let's just see about vitra meat here. Let's get some going. So let us grab vitra meat and start jacking it in. Two, three, four, five. Put them in. And then let's uh, take that off chicken. Take any off chicken that are on chicken here. Because chicken will now be overloaded in that area, and I might not be back for a while. And we're going to say that'll do it. And uh, let's just see how our pads are here. And that means more biologists are necessary, so we've got a 50-50 on them and workers. That's good, because I think more workers are necessary. Alright, time can go up to full. And, uh, yeah, we should be getting... Well, we're going to have a bit of a starch overboost now, unfortunately. It's a shame. What about over here, man? Oh my god, no doubt. Let's just put in a base mushroom. No, we got too much base mushrooms in there. Let's go ahead with a GM onion. Just the one. Just the one. Because we'll get hit with a ship right away. Oh yeah, here we are. What do we get? Rated? Three workers. Okay, go to 100 biologist. Perfect. That's actually really great. I'm really happy. And I think we should be open to trade. Yes, we are. And I think we can shut down visitor. We're done with it for now. We like a little tourism cash, but we need to uh, be a little safer because we're very close to getting raided again, I think. You know, it's not like it's completely predictable when you get raided, but uh, we are getting close to getting raided again here. Ah, lovely. Colonist off, trader only. That I think that actually leaves you safe from raid. Now I really hope that was enough biologists. It's only three more and I put in a lot more biology stuff, probably more than three biologists worth. Well, we'll see how it goes. We got workers too, so that l lightens the load for everyone. Okay, we don't need anything that guy's got. And we can afford to wait for some trade, because we're not on a clock, we're not trying to do a challenge, we're just trying to reach 600. In a, in a slick fashion and not break the base. I think we're going to do okay on power. Yeah, I think we're going to do okay on power. For now. And water, let's check. Yeah. For now. Oh my god, what? Okay, we're only on trade, that's right. Oh, look at all the steel. We need it so bad, let's just gulp it. And those guns. So, anything we can do to get this stuff is what we want to do. But we'd rather do it with cash. So let's. Because that'll be an enormous boost to the base. We just made all that cash off tourism and we didn't get rated too bad doing it. So let's go ahead and spend that cash. 
Because that's a really sweet pile of stuff. You can't quite afford to do that. If I threw in a little bit of meds, I could add that carrier bot. That's true, man. He's only worth 80. So that's like 2 meds, 3 meds, 4 meds, 5 meds, 5 meds and a few dollars. Yeah, 5 meds is worth a carrier. We won't break a carrier carrying 5 meds. So yeah, we're going to go with that trade, and then we're going to switch trade off as well. And be open only for emergencies, and we're going to get a couple more radio stations into a security base if we can find one that has some room. I mean, we have to build more security bases, but yeah. We would like another radio unit. That one doesn't have any room. We would like another radio counter because obviously we're understaffing our radio. Uh, let's just see here. So let's pull that out and I bet we can fit the pair in if we try. So radio and then security. Yeah, it goes just fine. So there's an extra radio counter. That should help. Spares. A little bouncy, but not a disaster. Now, mm, look at all these unmanned scopes, though. That's so uncool. This guy's dying. Look, he's going way out here to do work, and he's totally dying. Well, let's hope he makes it through it. Okay, so what? Is that not enough engineers? Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, god, food. Look at that, even with the addition of all that food. Holy shit, really? Just more biologists, and... Do we really need those engineers? Look, we haven't been hit by a rock in a while. Let's not worry about it. Okay. Let's just get those biologists in. We really need food production jacked. We've got issues. Kind of spotted it at when it was back at 596. And now we're down at 300 and dropping, so... We're going to start to be in the 200s pretty shortly. Let's get some biologists on the job, right? Please don't raid me, God. Nope. So three more biologists. Uh, let's go ahead and take one more shot of biologists, just for funsies. We just got a bunch of steel. That should help. That's a nice thing. And we're slowly working up towards our 100 guns, which is great. That's going to take forever. Okay, a couple more biologists. Let's not overdo it, because they eat too. They eat too. Uh, yeah, exactly a couple more, so let's go ahead and call that good. 366, and we're alive. And things are looking sort of balanced, but the idea is, of course, to crank a ton more food and drink in here. Uh, maybe I should go with one more load of biologists, actually. Let's just... Let's just, we're gonna need it. Looks like food's finally perking. I see perking. What I see is perking. And if I throw one more chunk of staff at it, I think I'll ensure perking without having to build out further. Because I did put quite a chunk of staff's worth of food in. Oh, we still have a nice tree pod here and there. I really like the tree pods. Great. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. That's very nice. We'll be open to visitors again now. Yeah, we're open for tourism again. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're open only for emergencies. And we have a new radio console, so we'll get more emergencies. But yeah, we're open only for emergencies. Let's cruise and see how our numbers go. There's food dropping down towards that nasty 300 again. Look, it's going to go under. <laughs> Maybe it isn't, eh? Maybe we've got food stabilized. Actually, maybe we've got food stabilized. For the moment. So food stable at 369 colonists, but really just barely stable. Oh yeah, we just saw it into the 200s. Ouch and pain. But it looks like it's going to keep bouncing for us. Steel is critically and continuously down. Let's check our bots. We're up to 32 drillers now. And we're actually getting really close to our limits on the others. Okay, watch the scopes. Scopes are not well manned, so we'll take it under advisement to hit that alert button pretty soon. Scopes are well manned. We want to 
be very careful about the alert because it puts a strain on the base. You can see we got a dude fixing things and stuff, so... Okay, alert on. Alert on and check the grid. Okay, that's a little painful, but we're most of the way through the night. And water is pushed to the limit. Water is literally pushed to the limit, and during this sandstorm we may even be tapping our nice new water tower, eh? We might even be tapping our nice new water tower, because water is close to the edge. So while we still have the extra steel, I think we will go ahead and commission an additional water blammer. Oh god, we can go all the way out here? Oh, I didn't realize I could go all the way out here. Oh, shat bastards. Shat bastards. Uh, actually though, it's fine, you know, that's actually not the most big of a deal. We can just use it for power farming if we can even reach into it, which I'm not sure we can. It seems like we can't reach across this, so... Uh, let's just see where we can get that guy in. Right there. Click. And he only needs five steel, including the connection. And check that grid. Ah, oh, it's a bit sketchy and spares are fine, so we're gonna go ahead and just, uh... Whoop, wrong. Go ahead and just put another panel or a fan, panel or a fan, panel or a fan, right? Panels are so reliable on this map that it's kind of like just do a panel for now. Because it's just guaranteed daytime power except during standstorms, so it should be fine. So that is 10, 11. 15, 16 steel out of only 14 available, so we had best open for trade. As soon as the storm's over, right? right as soon as the storm's over, we'll open for trade. Might be a couple of minutes. Okay, food's okay. Good, I looked away from food for a bit. That was important. Okay, yes, you may come in and be safe here. Take the alert off. And yeah, we're open for trade. And it looks like we're solid. In fact, we even have enough steel to build that junk, but we'll be wrecked the second we do, and that'll kill ball production, and that'll kill every production, and all the production, and everything will suck, so uh, let's hope we can buy some steel. We have a really good amount of meds, so that's good. And yeah, other than trade, we're only open to emergencies. Oh my god, we're not open to trade! I forgot to turn it on! Jeez. Oh well, one will come soon. Of course it might not be the one we want. Look at those horrible meteors. Grid check. Eh. Yeah, the fans are not producing enough. They're just providing bounce. But I think it's fine. So what's this little fella got? Absolutely nothing we want, sadly. Okay, biology still got yellows at night, but it seems like it's better-ish, better-ish. And food production's exactly flat, so I'm actually pretty happy. Oh, there we go, we got, oh, they paid. Nice, 200 coins, that goes a long way towards buying some steel. Hey, you know what we can do here? Oh. Trading ship has landed. Quickly check him. We want your semiconductors. And, uh, I think we want your carrier bots. And they cost more. So let's just do that and take a couple of cents off him. Uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, and that's an awfully big trade, and we don't get much metal out of it, so that kind of sucks. But let's furnish these cabins. Might as well, even though they're not really in use, but uh, let's get them done. Oh, that's the ticket. Is he slide it just far enough instead of sliding it there and getting that... Basically, avoid the lock. Hello, trading ship. Okay, we want these things. 
And uh, that's a lot of money. But we'll pay a bunch of it with cash this time. Uh, maybe not that much of it with cash though, because it is really expensive. It's really expensive, and we still haven't gotten any steel. It sucks to be us. However, getting some semiconductors is pretty much the same as getting some steel, honestly. Um, okay, and yeah, this can get done nice and quickly as well. So, so the ticket is to just do it till it goes just green. And not get the snap. Well, see, I went for the snap that time. Oh, God. I did. Yeah, okay, if you go for the snap, they don't fit as tight, though. That's okay, I'm good. It's nice to just get that done. Only one meal maker? Uh, that seems dumb as toast. Let's uh, just scrub that bad boy and replace it with a meal maker. There's food in there. And let's see what this guy has to offer. Again, semiconductors, which we're going to take a pass on this time. We're just going to send him. What the hell just happened? Okay, I don't know why that just occurred. Oh, shit, son. What? Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? That close to an airlock? I'd want to die. Just go away, trading ship. Oh my god. Well, I guess I need a couple more biologists. So, uh, that's a thing now. Jesus Christ. Oh, we have an incoming transmission, do we? Hang on. Yes. Uh, give me your steel and guns. I don't know why that just happened. The pathing in this game is a damn joke. It really is. Uh, do we still have enough meds after that? Uh, just barely. You know what? If a couple of them die, I'm okay with it. Our pads are now off. We are shut down. Except we need colonists, and we're going to take... Uh, since we're sort of stable on that, we're going to go with this. God damn it. Let's hope that never happens again. And I think we better put an airlock in here, just like I was thinking of so many goddamn times. So now we put an airlock right here. Now, basically, and build it quickly. Basically, because we're not having that crap happening again. Well, it'll probably happen pretty much instantaneously the second I try to build the airlock. Okay, then, that's lovely, you know, basically. Okay, well, uh, hopefully those visitors don't die. we got to shut down trade. We have nothing to trade, so... Okay, please don't raid me. That would be a bit rough right now. Nope, three engineers and a biologist. I'm really happy. We are shut down. This base is not open for business. And we have a lot of bioplastic that we don't really need, but that's going to be fine. Please get that airlock built without human intervention. That'd be a bonus. We're shorter on meat than we are on other things, so we're going to add a meat maker right in here. Right now that in, just one, and take one off chicken, if there is one on chicken, yeah, let's put that to pork. Okay, we have a damn airlock. I think that's a little bit important at this point, that we have that airlock. Yes, they need to be able to get into the base. And let's just put some freaking trees in here. Let's. Some nice trees, okay? Let's just have some nice freaking trees. Let's have some nice freaking trees here. That'll be sweet. 
Okay, we got some storage space. That's good. Hmm. That's a busy little place, so let's do the thing. Bam, and bam. Nice to see it busy, and let's put another meat maker in right here. Nature meat. Oh my god, is there nowhere? Oh yeah, no, it'll fit right there, so... One of these is on chicken, off it comes. Let's see if we can put another one in. Might just work. Yeah, put one in there. Good. Excellent. So we're getting a lot of chicken, but, you know, life's life. We need the meat. We need the meat. That should uh, beef us out. Oh dear. Wrong choice of phrasing. No pun intended. Okay, those bot repair facilities are going to be more and more important, I think. I think bot manufacturing is at a reasonable state of balance. But those bot repair facilities are getting more and more important, so we're going to go ahead and just beef them up. I chose that word again. That was dumb. Okay, I think I put in enough meat production, but I'm going to go ahead and do more. There's one right here. And if anybody's on chicken, it goes to something else. And if another one of those is on beef, then it'll go to pork. Yeah. There we go. We like it. Okay, we we'll just keep doing that sort of thing. And looking for bot facilities. Yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and do it, because bots... Now that's going to cut into bot production. Fugitives. That's going to cut into bot production, which is a bit sort of backwards of me. But having those facilities should long term improve bot survival. So we are going to totally fill them in. Because pathing is such an issue in this game, and if they just have more to bloody path to, it should be okay. We'll put another fountain in here. Can't have enough watering holes in the place. Let's put another fountain in here. Why not? Hey, let's put another screen in there. I think so. We got the bioplastic, man. Let's do it. Oh, there's uh, apparently no chance of that happening, so that's okay. We do have some happiness issues going on here. Let's see if we can put a screen in here. Video screens. Always have enough, right? Should improve things a little. Yeah, let's have another fountain. Let's see if we can't do another plant. Let's make this place a little nicer. So we can't do another fountain. Probably can't. Yeah, that's good though. Let's try to push that happiness higher, make these people have a better time. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're working on bot facilities too, so... Can we get any more happiness into here? Ah, oh, forget it. They're happy enough. They're happy enough. For now... We'll go ahead and put another bot maintainer in. That's gonna take a lot to build. That's gonna drain the poot out of semiconductors, pretty much. Veg and meat are wobbly. Wobbly, 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 but they're gonna hold. They're gonna hold. We just jammed in a bit more entertainment. I wonder if I can get a video screen into here. I wouldn't. Oops. What the hell? Oh, you can't. Wouldn't mind getting another fountain in there either, but you can't. With no room. Uh, okay, so we're just trying to build those bot facilities out. And that's going to murder semiconductors temporarily. Food's back in business for the moment. It's also rather temporarily. And yeah, sucks to be a colonist right now. How's the general happiness? Oh, really good. And bot numbers are up a little, so that's really good. Pretty happy. Actually, it's pretty great. And biology numbers are up. But that's pretty necessary. Wow, I love that insane network of corridors. Let's go in the middle here. Oh, you can't go in camera in there. Okay, let's go in camera in here. Loot. 
Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Oh look, they got pasta. He's just got the basic pancake crap, but these guys both got pasta for dinner, man. Nice. Look at that. Burger, pasta, salad, and basic crap. Oh, what's wrong with basic? I eat a lot of basic at home, man. Nice. Night's falling. It's beauty. It's beauty. You know, I see so many sad faces in this colony, but it looks like overall happiness is very strong. And uh, I guess those bot facilities must have got pretty much dealt with. Because, uh... Yeah, I'm showing semiconductors in functional storage, so... I think I could get another fountain in here. It's always good. Yeah, I can, too. Maybe I could get another plant in here? Yeah, I can. Maybe I could get another screen in here? Yeah, I can. I get two? Yeah, I can. Oh, that one sucks. No, we're not having it like that. That's no good. But we can get one right here, and that looks nice. Well, let's try for the fountain. Another plant. Oh, looks like the plant might be... Oh, no, there we go. Ridiculously bad placement, but I just don't care. What we need is happy people. Let's get another fountain in here. What better way to spend bioplastic than more places for them to drink water? This could probably use more stuff as well. Can I get a bench? Yes. Can I get another fountain? Bloody heck yes. Can I get another screen? Yes. Can I get some more plants? Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna jack up the happiness in here, man. Just jack it up. Jack up the happiness. Oh, look. We can get a fountain in here. Let's jam one in. Can't have enough of those. Same goes for here, I guess. Let's see if we can slip a fountain or a plant in. Start with a plant, finish with a fountain. We can get two plants. We can. Nice, man. Actually, let's just go with all of those plants. There's other fountains. Well, looks like biology still needs a push. Okay, a bit of furnishing doesn't hurt. A bit of furnishing doesn't hurt. Let's get some more fountains into here. You cannot have enough of these. You really can't. That's going to help people. It's going to make their lives better. I wonder if I could fit another screen anywhere in this mess. Probably. Oh, yeah, there we go. You know, it's a great way to spin bioplastic right now. It's trying to increase their happiness in any way we can. Basically. So, yeah, probably put a screen in here. I guess, yeah. Maybe a couple. No. Okay, let's try for another fountain or three then. I know it's weird just having fountains next to each other, but it's it's fine too, right? I'm just trying to really boost happiness here. Well, that's not gonna happen. Okay, that's fine. We're good. Thank goodness we have the bioplastic for this madness, which we certainly do. Uh, definitely time for a fountain. And let's see if we can do a screen. Yeah. Let's see if we can do a plant. No, but it's no it's no sadness that we can't. It's no problem. Now the same kind of thing's gotta happen in here. Get another fountain. See if we can't pop another screen in somewhere. Oh, it's because I put the fountain in. That's okay, fountain's more important. Fountain's more important, they're good. Look at all the screens in there, that's great. Well that gives them something to path to. I'll put another fountain in here. Heck, I'm gonna put another fountain in here. It is what it is. It's the fountain bar. This probably has room for more crap in it too, but uh, since we're gonna be expanding out this way, it's less of a deal. Okay, that's all good and we're pretty stable. That's all good and we're pretty stable, actually. I'm quite pleased. And let's check that grid. It's holding together. 
but we're just starting the day. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I wonder if video screens consume power. That's an interesting question. Let's go look at one. Yeah, no power consumption. Well, you know the modern screens today, man. My buddy Sandy bought himself this uh, nice little Samsung LCD or LED rather, and it's it's like a thirty-some odd inch screen. It weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely nothing, and it runs off something that looks like a charger for. It's like a nine volt power supply. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's take a look at the grid at high speed now. Looks like we're going to fill it, and we have enough steel that we could bang on another collector. And I'm going to say no one's going to asphyxiate this time. So we are going to bang on another collector, because no one's going to asphyxiate this time. I think, basically. Alright, get that built. Get another collector onto this system, because it's drawing enough to fill it. And, uh, let's just see here. Yeah, the collectors are full two-thirds of the way through the day, so it's solid to put another unit in. And spares are holding, and we have steel, so it's actually solid to go ahead and put another fan in as well. But a little closer for maintenance purposes, so let's put the fan right there. So yeah, fan and a collector, we have the steel. We will not challenge the base for anything more than that. Looks like I could probably put a screen in here. Yep. That's nice. And one here. Nice. And looks like I could put some fountains in here as well. Let's do that. Let's see if we can slip a plant or three in. Well, not so much. There we go. Good, just let's keep pushing that pleasure level up. Okay, now is anyone going to asphyxiate? Like, seriously don't, okay? Like, I know you're tired and all that stuff. We'll build you some nice cabins out here pretty soon. But we're not going to call for any builds other than these pre-expansion builds. That's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. And how's the O2 on these dudes? Gonna be fine. They're tired, they need sleeping facilities out this end. And that's the absolute stone truth of the matter. So let's go ahead and make a fully large dorm out here, right in here. Like that. Let's do that. Still got enough resources for that, and it won't be too bad to furnish, and we can use it. And yeah, we'll expand around it. It's no big deal. It's fine. Oh, O2, though, eh? Uh, yeah. Might need another O2 maker right out this way, so let's do that as well. Let's jam it on. Let's get it done. There, I don't need to put a boost on it. They'll get it done pretty quick. And they've got airlocks galore. Should be fun. Should be fun. Okay, that should have really pushed the grid up. And it did. That really pushed the grid up. I feel a lot more comfortable. We'll hope spares hold out. I have a feeling fans consume more spares than solar panels do. Solar panels cost more to build, but fans consume more spares sort of a deal. Yeah, I thought we might need some oxygen here. Right, let's get this bedded up. We're gonna need it, man. They do need more sleepy housings. Nothing wrong with a dorm. It's a perfectly decent way to sleep, and that is just not gonna fit so fine. <laughs> Came's a little devil that way. Let's check our water. Water grid. We're okay. We're solid. Yeah, fans are never going to be sufficient even at full power, but it's enough to provide the bounce necessary to take us through the night. Look at that, fans are sufficient. Fans at full power are currently sufficient. That's amazing, frankly. i got to make sure I keep doing those oxygen generators, man. They're a bit of a thing. Yeah, we're good, though. We're good. And food is so wobbly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put a lettuce pad... And, um, what? A potato pad? Yeah, let's put a potato pad in. Sure. 
a slight biffery boost because I see that dropping below that magic 200 number again, and I don't like that. So, same with Vitra Meat. So we're gonna go ahead and just jam in one more meterizer here. Uh, we are gonna have to build off of this at some point, so let's just put it as far that way as we can. And anybody on chicken get switched to pork, basically. And grid check. We are looking very strong on the grid. Hopefully we've got enough biologists to handle this. And yeah, I think that was actually unnecessary food beefing. Uh, let's just see about this room. I think that was actually unnecessary food beefing. Plants, we like them. And fountains, we like them. Can't have enough. Uh, I've got room for a screen here. Yep. Get them happiness fixtures in, right? Make this place happy. I think it's I think it's working in terms of the place becoming happy. Look at that. That's all built. And the dorm's all built. That was quick work. Could almost throw a cabin in here if it fits. Let's just see. Oh, we can even do a big one, so bang it right on there. Nice, that shouldn't take long to build. A little more housing. We like it. Oh, yes. How's the total happiness looking? Oh, I can't believe we're into excellence. And bots are up. Bots are up. Wow, I'm so happy. Really must remember not to push them. Okay, sandstorm detected. How's our... I'd really like this cabin built before the sandstorm comes, so... I'll just hit the alert if it says sandstorm imminent. Right, because I think that's like about to be built, so... Oh, come on with the little buildings of buildings. Yeah, here we go, little guy building. Come on, little guy. Let him go. Come on, little guy. Come on, go, little guy. Now build it. Oh, you're a genius, my friend. You're a good little guy. Thanks for your good work. What a good little guy, eh? Oh, I'm happy with him. Oh, I'm happy with him. What a good little robot. I am so pleased with the good little robot. And we're not getting the extra bed, but whatever. It's a cabin, and it's on an O2 unit, so... Yeah. Speed up to full. Pads are emergency only. Radios are getting manned. Scopes are getting manned. Power system is... Drudgy. And I think you lose all solar. You get max wind. So we are still in power. But I think you lose all solar. Yeah, look at that. It's dropping. Boot, 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 boot. Let's turn off both pads. Let's just go ahead and shut down. No, no, we want to stay open for emergencies. We're here for the we're here for the space travelers of the universe, man. And we're still in power boost. Uh, let's see how bad those solars are. They're getting right down to nothing. But with max wind, we might actually still be in boost. Look, okay, let's wait for them to hit zero. Boot being done. And now let's do a grid check. We're still in bear boost with fans only. That is excellent. And we have enough steel and everything to continue working inside the base. Food is stable. Steel is stable. Wow, that stuff is stable. We're going to end up going through a lot of spares right after this because the sandstorm is going to absolutely shrek to file our, our, our power system. Oh, let's check water because it's always low during a sandstorm. So water's holding. That's good. Hmm. This is great. So at 371, we're solid. And let's do a bot check. Bots are pretty stable. I'm glad we put in those extra bot maintenance units. That was awesome. Okay, so kill that and tops on. 
cops on, we'll drop the speed down, let everyone relax in the base here. And we'll pop into this place and have a look. A nice big bar. We'll see how people are doing. Planet News is on. The sun is falling. And look, people aren't too bad off here. I mean, someone's a little bummed, but that happens. Is that like a weird sunset effect we're getting in here? Yeah, I think the sunset is lancing right through the bar as the sun drops, unless it's sunrise, but I think it's sun drop. I think it's sun drop. There goes a constructor working away. And the guy who wasn't feeling so chill has totally relaxed. There's our trusty fans going. And everything is skookum and everyone is safe. There's no raiders. There's no traders. There's no trouble. The lights are bright, the air is fresh and clean, the vitro meat is delicious, everyone's happy, I hope you guys are too, and we'll see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.